Hi, Trivini. Good morning. How are you? I am fine, sir. Good morning, sir. Okay. Can you tell us something about yourself? Yes, sir. My name is Kamarajwa Dathirvini. I have completed my graduation in BSc Computers from Acharya Nagarjuna University. I have undergone four months of training in Naresh IT Technologies on software testing. I, as part of training, I have done two projects in manual and automation. One is adopting and one is online internet banking. I'm very, I have good knowledge in Core Java and testing also and SQL queries. Mm -hmm. That's all about me, sir. Okay, okay, great. So, what is the difference between JDK, JRE, and JVM? Um, Java Virtual Machines and uh, JDK Files and... Yes. Um, yeah, so one is Java Development Kit, one is JVM is Java Virtual Machine, then is JRE, Java Runtime yeah. Environment. So what is the difference yeah. between these three things? Java virtual machine is uh, virtual and I don't mm -hmm. Okay, would, would you like to give a try? Okay. okay, no worries. See, this is a mock interview. Even if you don't know the answer of any question, so uh, we will be answering on your way. Okay. So JVM is nothing but it's an uh, Java virtual machine. So it is an abstract machine. Right, it would provide the runtime environment in which Java bytecode would be executed. Right now, now JRE is, uh, as you mentioned it very rightly, it is a Java runtime environment. Right, it is a set of uh, tools it has that will uh, that will be used for uh, developing the Java applications. Right, so it contains a set of libraries plus other files that JVM uses at runtime. Now JDK, that is the Java development kit. So it is a software development environment, which is used to uh, create, or you can say develop Java applications or Java applets. Okay. So this is all about JRE, JDK and JVM. Okay. Now, what is the main difference between Java platform and other platforms? Java is... Uh free platform open source platform and java is very easy to compare with c or python and other languages mm -hmm. and java java platform is very easy to work with that application mm -hmm. in java we are we are writing any program it's uh, automatically is mentioned mistakes are uh, and our errors in each and every line Hmm. And Java is very easy to compare with another languages. Mm -hmm. Right. So this this apart from these differences, you can also add like Java is a software based platform, whereas other platforms are hardware platforms or software based platforms. Right. And Java is executed actually on the top of the other hardware platforms. Right. So that is also a good thing that you can mention. Okay. Now, how will you? <clears throat> compile a Java program or how will you run a Java program via command line? Is it possible to run or compile a program via command Java program via command line? I run in Eclipse IDE. Mm -hmm. In command line also we have to run, but it's yeah. a little bit hard work. Sorry, in command line also you can work, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. So so if this question is asked to you in an interview, so you can mention, let's say, whatever your uh, Java program is there. For example, your Java program file name is hello world.java. So if you will type Java C hello world.java, and if you will press enter, so automatically your code will be compiled via command prompt. So in command prompt, you will write Java C hello world.java, right? Now, if you want to run this program, the hello world from the command line, then what you will do, you will mention Java and hello world, right? Yes. So automatically that program will run via command line. Now there is one assumption that your path variable should be set. Then only you will be able to compile and run this particular, any, any program of Java via command line. Okay. Now consider there is a, a string of your name, Triveni, right? Now you have to write a Java program to check if a vowel is present in this st string or not. So this string is there, Triveni, 
right? So you are supposed to write a Java program and we want to know whether a vowel is present in this string or not, right? So how will you write this program? Do you have uh, this ID installed in your machine? Yes, sir. Yeah. So can you click on share screen button so we can uh, see the screen? Share. Yeah. Click on share screen option, the green color. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm able to see your screen. Yeah, now open, uh, maybe ID you are comfortable or if you want to take it up with notepad, whichever you are comfortable with. program sir you need to write a java program there is a string of your name triveni you have to write a java program to check if the vowels are present in the string or not no sir i don't know okay no worries so let me uh, give you the answer of this question Uh, let me share my screen. Yeah. Are you able to see my screen? Uh, yeah, yes, sir. Okay. So you can see uh, over here. String and screen. Yeah, screen is visible, right? Yes. Sir. Yeah. So any any string you can take over here. I have taken a string hello, and I have uh, taken a string TV as well, right? So what I would do is, I would whatever string is there first. I will get it print, right? If the string contains vowels, so it will return true. If the string does not contains vowels, so it will return false. Then whatever input, whatever string we have, right? This is the function string contains vowels, right? This is a method, this is a function that we have, right? Whichever the input, whichever string we have that we will store over here, right? That we will convert it to lowercase and it, we will try to match it up with these particular characters, A, E, I, O, U, because these are the vowel characters, okay. right? This string contains uh, E, so it will return true in the system dot out dot print, right? Clear? Is it clear? Mm, yeah, yes, sir. Okay. Now, what is the difference between uh, regression testing and retesting? Uh, retesting is in every bill has been released. We have to, I mean, once the bug has been fixed, we have to bug fix. We have to report the buggies tester team to developer team. Mm -hmm. They are, they are, if they are accepted, they are working on that bug. They are fixing and send it to the tester. We have to retest that bug has been fixed or not. This is retesting. Only that bug has been fixed or not. Mm. But in regression testing, we have to test all the build, all the build because because fixing that bug is there in is there chances are need chances are there because of bug fixing. Another functionalities are also affected. So we have to test the all the build and compare with build one to build two. This is regression testing. Correct, correct. Okay. Now I'll give you one website. Okay. You have to find out the relative X path. Okay. What do you what do you mean by relative X path? Mm, X path is we have to click on inspect and uh, attributes and ID name. Mm -hmm. This are the... okay. So uh, you can share your screen and you have to write a code for launching the website, uh, youtube.com. Okay. In YouTube, there is a search text box, right? And you need to enter RD automation learning in that text box. So this is the uh, use case that you have to automate. You have Selenium web driver, right? I just saw. Yes, sir. Yeah. Chrome driver. Chrome driver. Yeah. So that also 
So uh, can you please uh, share your screen? So you have to find relative XPath of uh, that search text box and you have to click on that. You have to enter the text as uh, RD automation learning and then you have to click on search button. So this is the use case that you have to do. Mm, search or files are not created now. Sorry? We have to, jar files are not now. Jar files, which jar file? I mean, we have to add the jar files to Selenium okay. WebDriver, but okay, fine. is it not available? Okay, okay, no worries. So what you can do is you can share your screen and you can write a program in the Notepad++, right? So just write the program and find out the relative X path, right? And in a real-time interview, please be prepared with one ID with which has all these things, you know, jar files of to run this code, right? So for now, just uh, open the Notepad++ plus plus or Notepad and you can write a program in that. Share screen, sir. Yeah, yeah, you have to share your screen. Just click on green color option, share screen. Yeah, okay, okay. Sir, only filling web driver is enough. Or? Yeah, so you have to create an automation script. If Selenium web driver jar files are not available, so just write the program for now. I don't know, sir. I forgot that link. Okay. Uh, let us try now, right? See, in a real-time interview, you might be asked this kind of automation-based question, right? Because you have got automation-related uh, experience in your resume, right? You have took, took that yes, training sir. and you have worked on that, right? So what you have to write is you have to write uh, driver.launch URL, right? So yes, that, sir, launch URL and uh, mm. send a keys request and get test, uh, get test box. I know. Yeah. yeah, so that's what that's what you have to write. It. Chrome driver. Yeah, yeah Chrome, Chrome driver, driver XPath. Fine, so that Chrome driver you will mention, then XPath mm -hmm. you will take for that search text box, right? So yes, just sir. enter the text, text send keys in that uh, search text box as, as RD automation learning. So you will have to keep in the double quotes, right? Yes, and sir. Then you have to click on the search button. So you will find out relative XPath of text box. You will find out relative XPath of search button that you have to click, right? So, uh, so going forward, please be prepared for these kind of questions because it might be asked to you in the mock interviews. Right? Okay. Okay. Okay, Triveni, I am done with the interview. Do you have any questions for me? No, sir. In case I... I'm attempting in real interviews. They are asking only this Java or automation. They are, didn't ask in manual or my mm -hmm. project. Okay, just a second. Ajinkya, can you please wait for two to three minutes? You can rejoin this link after two to three minutes. Okay. Ajinkya, I'm, I'm talking to Ajinkya. Ajinkya? Okay, sir. Um, Ajinkya is like that. Okay. Hello.